One of the most requested topic for this channel is how to install NSCDE stands for not so common desktop environments on OpenBSD. In one of my old videos, I have showcased how to build and install common desktop environment or CDE on OpenBSD, but not so common desktop environment. It's kind of like a better version of it. I assume it's the entire rewrite of the a common desktop environment uh, from the ground up and it doesn't have the security issues and stuff like that as the CDE. So in uh, NSCDE, oh gosh, this acronym is killing me, is not available in the port tree. So we have to actually install it ourselves. If we look into the installation guide, there is nothing about the OpenBSD mentioned there. So let's just double check it. There's nothing about OpenBSD and FAQ is goddamn old. And also the stuff that they mentioned are not entirely accurate. So for example, it's mentioned that we need to install the installer installer.ksh, whereas actually this file doesn't exist anymore. But still there are some useful things about the OpenBSD here and that one is about the, some of the dependencies. Of course, this is not the compl complete and the comprehensive list of the dependencies. Also, it's mentioned that one has to compile FVWM whereas that's actually is not needed anymore because OpenBSD now has bumped up the version and we have the newer version of the FVWM tree. So long story short, let's start by building and installing this desktop environment on OpenBSD. So for that one, I have actually have to use the uh, VirtualBox because I wanted to start everything from scratch and just make sure that I got all the dependencies and stuff is right. So this is the one of the downside of making videos like that because then I have to actually do everything on the VirtualBox and it's going to take a lot of time to figure things out. So what we gotta do is to install a bunch of packages first. So we are going to start with the PKG add. It's mentioned that we need the KSH93. I'm not sure whether that's needed anymore, but nonetheless, we are going to install it. The rest of this stuff are absolutely needed. A screen saver, X setting SD, X clip, auto make, auto conf, FEWM3. Pi3 Qt5, Pi3 YAML, Pi3 PSUtil, Image Magic, XDoTool, Dunst, ST Alone. Tray Qt5 style plugins. Somehow, magically, it requires sudo. I'm not sure exactly why. Gset or the GNU set and git because we are going to clone the repository. So, let me just quickly check the Qt5 style plugins to make sure that I didn't make any typo. Enter the password. It's going to take a while. I'm going to pause the video now and resume once all these dependencies uh, were installed. All right, so during the installation process of the dependencies, now the PKG ad is prompted us which version of AutoMake we are going to install. So we have to actually install the latest version so in our case would be option 10 or version 116.5 we got another prompt for the autoconf so for the autoconf we are also going to install the latest version which would be version 
2.71 so option 17 all right so we have yet another actually selection this one is about sudo so we are going just to go with we are just going to select the first option and that should be sufficient enough for this installation we have installed all the dependencies now what we have to do is to clone the repository and start the installation process so let me clear the screen and take one here hopefully you can see it so we are going to just clone the repository git clone github.com slash n s c d n s c d e dot git okay now what we have to do we have to export two environment variables related to autoconf and automake so for that one export autoconf underscore version equals to 271 this is the this version matches the autoconf version that the pkg ads actually prompted and we selected so make sure that this version is the same that you installed and then for the automake we also have to do the same thing version equals to 1.16 so we installed automake version 1.16 now what we are going to do we are going to run the configure script of course we have to go to the ls yes i have to go to the directory of the cloned repository and now i'm going to run the config it's going to check for the dependencies and then we need to run make and make install okay the configure script has finished and as you can see it was successful now let's actually run make and make install so for that one i need to clear a screen again and then let's run make fantastic now make a script is finished successfully the last step is to run the make install so do as make install enter the password and then it's going to install the nscde all right the installation process is finished the last step for us is to actually configure the x session and then we should be good to go i'm going to show you actually what your x session more or less should be look like and then put the essential stuff so let me just like move my x session to the x session that backup and then i'm going to create another x session so in your x session you should have this stuff for sure so export lang equals to whatever lo uh, local that you are using in my case would be english us dot utf dash eight and we are going to actually paste this one twice and instead of lang first we do lc c type on the second line and on the third line we are just going to do lc all so now we have the local set already what we have to do we have to just instruct the x session to execute the nscde so where is the nscde is under slash user local bean nscde so we save that we quit now let's actually quit the session and see whether we can load the nscde or no so the screen resolution would be a bit messed up but that's expected totally because we haven't set the x render yet but that's fine i assume that you can see that the nscd is loading so now what we gotta do we gotta actually finish the setup so what they recommend here is to 
run apparently is frozen or my laptop actually is kind of frozen okay fantastic all right so we're gonna finish the installation process so what we gotta do it says that do you want to integrate all this stuff so there are a couple of things that we passed already because i press enter enter but the one is about the gtk2 team gtk3 team qt4 team qt5 team and then the qt5 engine team qt5 uh, vantom and also qt6 it's up to you what you want to enable what not so qt6 i'm going to skip it because i am not sure whether it still is available on openbsc or not so it is complaining about the fvw command is not found but that's fine and so do you want to enable the visual pager yes why not remember the last page on the workspace yes sure login by default yes and x a screensaver yes a standalone tray why not color scheme x settings because these are the stuff that we already installed these dependencies x settings d and also dansk so for file manager what we have to enter so you can enter whatever file manager that you have here i have not installed anything so i'm not sure what i'm going to type i'm just gonna type ls for example you can just type whatever that you wish for the text editor gvim that's fine again these are the customization that you should do and based on whatever that you wish not just following this uh, tutorial strict uh, restrictively so this is the desktop as you can see unfortunately my computer is frozen so let me actually stop the recording and i will get back to you once i restart the restart my computer and also the virtual machine all right so i have restarted my computer as well as the virtual box unfortunately i couldn't get this one resized so we have to kind of like bear with me with this one so this is the environment as you can see and most of the stuff actually working here you can actually open this stuff that what you wish i'm not to be honest with you i'm not familiar with this environment at all it's kind of beyond my time and yeah but apparently it is working i have done a couple of tests here and it seems working for example i can open the terminal and i have not installed any applications so that's kind of natural that nothing is opening if i click on it but then i can just go to the for example to the style manager change stuff like desktop window i'm just curious how what it is yeah so yeah it's it's working but also the bad the screen resolution is kind of hinders me from demonstrating this one more but in case that you are interested you, you can just do the installation and continue playing around with it and yeah that's all for this video i hope you have enjoyed it don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already have a great time cheers I want to thank all of the amazing Patreon and Coffee supporters. Your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content. Thanks again for your generosity and contribution.